Alert. 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 Nobody wants to start. No, not really. <laughs> I mean, to me, alert is you know, it's a kind of a simple word. It just means to be aware, like aware of your surroundings, uh, focused, maybe a good synonym for alert. Uh, it means you're paying attention. It can also be a, a noun. You can get an alert about something, which is a, a notification about something that you need to be aware of, like a weather alert is might be a warning about um, incoming bad weather. I think maybe there's something sudden or alert um, sort of implies a sense of emergency um, because it's not just when you're looking at something and paying attention. You're alert, you're hyper-focused for a reason. Something grabbed your attention um, yeah, more yeah. focused than usual. You might be alert for danger. Mm -hmm. If you are walking alone in a parking lot uh, at nighttime, then you might be alert for, um, you know, anything that might be going on. So alert can be an adjective. Mm -hmm. You say be alert. Yes. So it can be a verb, can be not. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But okay. generally, it all refers to <clears throat> needing to be aware of potential um, dangers or about something important. Yeah. Okay, so what's the most common context you will see or be used? Stay alert while driving? Yeah, usually? I think if you're doing something that's potentially dangerous, someone's going to tell you to be alert or to receive alerts about something. Yeah. We all receive alerts all the time on our cell phones. We mm -hmm. get Amber Alerts, which is like letting some, somebody know that uh, a child has been kidnapped. You get an alert to your phone or you get a bad weather alert. Um, I would say maybe a teacher would ask her students to be alert during class, especially in the morning, you know, when you're feeling groggy and tired. Um, a teacher would be like, hey, pay attention. You guys need to be alert and be ready to receive the information she's teaching. Okay. And uh, there's several words like attentive, like watchful. Uh, so alert is basically the same? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I kind mean, you of could like... say it's the same as paying attention, which would be another way of saying attentive. Um, I think that in some circumstances, alert can mean a little bit more urgency. Right. You need to, like, if you are paying attention to something, that just means you're focused on it. But if you're alert about something, it means that you have greater focus because something, because you have to pay attention more because something might be a threat or it's particularly important. So, alert, alert is the highest. 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 Mm -hmm. highest. And what's the second high? Or the other two? Attentive, I think, and watchful is kind of the bottom. Yeah. Like, Watchful what, what, seems more passive. Definitely. Like, you would just be sitting in class watching the other students, but if you're paying attention, maybe the girl sitting next to you is tapping her pen and the guy, you know, across the room is reading a book. But if you're alert, you're paying attention to everything in, in an anticipation for something. Right. So say you're alert because the bell is about to ring and class is about to be dismissed. So you're sitting there watching the clock for something. For something, yeah. Oh, and if we say be watchful, what that means? Right. Um, to be watchful, so kind of with the same analogy, you know, if you have a long day ahead of you and but you have a certain deadline. So say, you know, you have to leave by five o'clock. You'll be watching the clock all day to make sure that you're not missing your time, but you, then you become more alert as it gets closer to five and you need to start taking action. So watching would be the most passive of right. the, the three words. Oh, okay. So alert is more active. Yes. Like yes. Actually, mm -hmm. like, yes. Be attentive to. Yeah. The, the You're usually looking out for something in particular. Um, so maybe be be alert for ice on the road. Right. Or be alert for uh, some, like I said, some sort of threat in a parking lot at night or bad weather or, you know, you're looking out for something in particular that is of, of special interest to you. Right. So have you used this word? Yes. To talk to other others? Yes, for sure. 
Yeah, and I think you can use watchful and alert to describe the same action, but you might choose alert to express more significance. Mm -hmm. But you could use them interchangeably. They essentially mean the same thing, but one implies something a little more severe than the other. Right. So was there last time you you talk to others about being alert all the time? What's the context? Usually, um... Uh, at, at the skate park, sometimes. Uh, you might be alert for kids on scooters because they're <laughs> probably going to get in your way and you might crash into them. So you might tell someone, hey, be alert. You know, this kid's been coming through the lane. Okay. I so usually, kind of a warning. I usually use in the context of bad weather. Um, I would say other than the Amber Alerts, I really don't use the word very often. For me, I guess, my context would be being woken up, being lively alert. A lot of my experience with alert would be from in class when your teachers are like, why aren't you paying attention? Like, you need to be <laughs> alert, like, wake up. And <laughs> so that's that's kind of my context. So, well, what's the difference between, let's say, when I say somebody, like, I, when somebody's driving, sometimes I would say, be careful or something. Like, will you, will you just be careful? Or you that's not quite the alert? same thing. So if someone's driving and you just tell them to be careful, then. Yeah, you're not being very specific. You're just telling them to be careful because driving can be dangerous. But if you were gonna warn them about something specific, like ice on the road, you might tell them to be alert for this. You know, be alert right. for the ice on the road. Fallen trees. Be alert for drunken drivers. It's yeah. New Year's. Or yeah, something. it's New Year's. Oh. A lot of people are drinking. Be alert. Be extra alert. Okay. Um, or if somebody is on high alert for something, that means that they are watching out very hard for a specific thing. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, you know, the high alert, um, when it comes to the weather, mm -hmm. you know, they put you on different levels of alert. So in some areas where they're at a high level of alert, like they're more likely to get the bad storms and the bad weather, but then the surrounding areas will be under a low level of alert where they need to be paying attention in case the storm moves directions, but most likely they'll be out of the most intense of the storm. Okay, okay. And alert and a, like warning is the same thing? As um, can be. Yeah, it, an alert and a warning are basically the same thing. Oh. Yeah, right. They're both a sort of, if, when you use it as a noun, an alert and a warning are, are basically the same thing. They tell you that you need to be looking out for something that could be a potential threat. Yeah. A warning, I would say, is something more that you tell other people to be cautious. Um, an alert would be kind of more self-descriptive. It's like you want some, like you want to be alert, you should be alert. So it's tricky. So I feel like it, what, alert as a verb is um, the word for a message that you give to someone, but an, an alert might be warning you about something. Okay. So and it's not restricted right. to just so warning. So if you get a weather alert, it might be warning you about bad weather. Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. More sense than so, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so which one is more common to use? Like I always heard like on under alert. Have you ever heard it? Under alert. Under alert. On on the alert. On the alert. Oh, to be on the alert, yeah. It makes me think of like a like an action movie. Or like an animal. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't really. Alert, you know, red alert, red alert. You know, I don't somebody really. Somebody to look out for. Yeah, you know. I don't really hear on the alert. Are Very we... often, yeah, that's not really uh, commonly used in my life. No, I think I think of red alert. Red to alert, be, and yeah. red alert is like a warning, like a like a high level warning, like the highest level warning would be a, like a, a red alert. Yeah, there might yeah. be a flashing light associated with it. Yeah, right? that's when you're in a submarine yeah. and there's yeah. the red lights <laughs> and you know the yeah. bombs are coming. Like that's that's a red alert. But to be on alert is like to be on lookout. Yeah, to be aware. So you're, to look for yeah, you're watching. But that out means that you're on suspicious. the alert for something specific. So Usually, if you yeah. are on the alert for, you know, 
Steven whatever. Seagal. Steven whatever. Seagal. Yeah. If you're on the alert for Steven <laughs> Seagal, the then you better <laughs> watch out. Well, check your walls. Make sure Steven Seagal isn't through, busting through the walls because that's where okay. Well, I had I had a real thing with the animals. Okay, <laughs> about animals being alert. A lot of times, um, this is more applicable to hunting. You know, you'll see deer's ears move or like rabbits' ears move. That's they're becoming alert because they heard something. So if you spook a deer, you'll tell you can tell when it's on alert by the way it changes its posture. But once so you, again, there's danger. Exactly. Like, like yeah. alert usually means there's some form of danger that you need to be looking out for. That's a, like a very significant type. It seems of like there might be a little bit of like instinctual like sense of emergency and instinctual like need to pay attention because of how dire this situation could be. You know, yeah, the, yeah. the red alert with the flashing lights is like, you're gonna die. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's why the missiles are coming. Yeah, that's why I'm very extra surprised I didn't have been using in classroom. I didn't expect that. I don't, um, I don't hear it in classrooms really. Nova must have had a really alarmist teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so what do your teacher will say? Like, wake up? Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Yeah. That's what I, I would hear. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was my Catholic school. <laughs> yeah, everything is an emergency in Catholic school. <laughs> All right. Alert. Alert.